<laughs> what is going on? Oh, okay, so my shortcut keys were all kinds of messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It, like I messed those up. That was that was my fault. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and wow, welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 uh, episode. And if this is your first time, I promise it's usually not that bad as the uh, the intro goes. But um, we are. What are we doing today? We are building more onto the conveyor belt system, and uh, I had a lot of help from Jack and from from Fez. Uh, thank you guys so much for helping me yesterday. Right here. I think I want to come out one more and then I'm going to turn this direction, but I don't want to be right over the top. See how these are right over the top of the, the bins? I think I built that wrong. I don't want it to be right on top of the bin. I want it to be just like on the lip of the bin, but I figured what I could do is this will actually be a hallway and we'll have more wood on that side. So the conveyor should come down the top of the hallway and then dump out to the right. Maybe, I don't know. I'm, I, this, is, this is all up in the air on how to move stuff and building things. So, you know, we'll, we'll just give it a whirl and see if it works. Oh, I should probably come down one more, shouldn't I? Thank you so much, uh, Mohammed, for uh, the subscribe. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Codes Code Primate channel. To Heath Haskins Code Primate, I play lumber. Uh, by the way, nobody, well, some of you, some of you watched uh, the episode yesterday, the Proju episode, but for the most part, like, there weren't that many views. What happened, you guys? Did you did you just lose interest in Proju? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's if it's me or if it was the the game, but. Wait, where did it go? Where did you go? Where did you go? My conveyor. Should I try placing another? Or should I just reload the base? I think I should reload the base. Because it's... It's not there anywhere. It's gone. <gasps> okay. Hang tight. I'll reload. Huh. I'm standing on top of it again. So, it neither placed nor cancelled. That was kind of weird. Hmm. Whoa! Teleported. Teleport. I'm I'm not gonna get used to that teleport thing. I've been playing it too many years where you have to load your base and run to your base. <laughs> okay. By the way, if you were to build a, a ladder right at the point where you uh, teleport and just build that all the way up, wherever you teleported, like when you loaded in your base, you would teleport to the top of that thing instead of... Uh, instead of the other way around. Okay, let's do this, and we're gonna go rotate one time, I think. Is that the way that we want it? No, we want it the other way, so. Rotate, rotate, like that. So that way the default position is going with the flow, like that. There we go. Should I go one more? One more, or may maybe, maybe two more? Maybe two. Maybe. Two more. I could make a bin back here in the back. No, I can't. I can't make a bin back here because it's too close to the wall. I mean, maybe. It's fine. It's fine. I have a plan. Stick to the plan code. Okay. So now, if we do another turn, move, and we go rotate, rotate, like that, this should start bringing it back the other direction, right? Yeah. And then, we could start building. I'm gonna have to clean up some, oh my gosh, and it's dark. Is it like super dark to you guys? super dark to me um hold on don't we have some floodlights didn't didn't i buy a couple of floodlights just for this situation no i bought one bought one floodlight hmm. well let's go grab some lights and before i forget i want lights in each one of the uh the things oh tnt experiments <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to make a bin for those as well. Okay, let's go buy some uh, some floodlights, and I'll show you how I I want them set up. That way, we're gonna have light in each bin. One thing I can't stand is not enough light. I've got a fever, and the only cure is floodlights. Oh, uh, speaking of which, happy Wednesday, everyone. Um, if you are still under quarantine and you have not started, if your city or, or county or state or country has not started opening back up yet, um, hang in there. It will happen. Um, but I want to say life as we knew it is changed. Um, we're, we're never going to be the way we were before. And don't get me wrong, um, me personally, I was paranoid like that before Corona started, so I was I was always a little bit cautious about washing hands, touching face, stuff like that, especially since I just touched my eyeball. But I washed my hands before coming out here, so everything everything's washed, everything's wiped down, and uh, it's amazing the like what you think of when you're trying to be cautious because going to the grocery store or going to Walmart I touch the register because I have to, to scan the items I touch the touch screen to insert my card and to touch the OK button stuff that you would normally be okay with doing surfaces you touch it Make sure that you take sanitizer with you at all times. Because that's that's what I did. I did, uh, as soon as I got done touch, touching the register before I touched anything else, hand sanitizer, grab my card, sanitize the card, put the card away. And then I was thinking, like, what if the person that was putting away the bags, the, the bags to, like, the, the self-checkout, what if they had coronavirus and they coughed on their hands and then they, they touched the bags? Like, the cross-contamination factor... The idea of it just huge and I, I'm paranoid like that but that's that's just me I mean I was like that before but not to the extent of extreme caution and there's some people out there that are like I don't believe in it it's not that bad everybody had the flu before yeah the flu is not anything close to what we have now influenza can still kill you all right and in fact it kills you kills people every year people die of influenza but corona is like a, a, it's a it's an outbreak it's a pandemic we don't have a cure for it there's no cure for it so um oh by the way that's a uh, 5 2020 if there's a cure by the time you watch this Awesome. Hashtag found a cure down below. That'd be great. And again, you don't have to do anything I say. Ever. But, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop. Why are you going forward? <laughs> Better yet, is this my car or is this somebody else's car? Oh. Ah, there we go. L for lights. Got it. Okay, let's go ahead and build, let's build the light box here in this corner. That way, uh, that way it's kind of hidden around the corner. That way nobody can see it. And we'll, we'll make sure that the light boxes are off and away. Um, how do we want this to go? Do we want to like face it? This way, kinda, maybe. Or more towards the back. I don't like it facing towards the back, so let's go let's go that way with it. That's how I, that's how I want them to show up. Good. Okay. So let's see here. I should be able to build Let's go, oh, come on, come on, come on, stop that, stop that. 
there we go, two floors, and it's small tiles, right? And I want a small tile right here. Then we are going to do a turn, small tile right here. And then we're going to do a rotate and small tile right here, just like that, I think. I think, therefore I am. We're gonna chop this in two. One, two, and one more. A little bit bigger piece than I actually need, but you know. Then we can move this one out of the way. Then we should be able to just slide that in and hit B. Nice. Now I don't know why that's Oh, I see what I did. Hold on. Let's move let's move that back out. B. I need to rotate this. Move. Rotate. There we go. It needs to be sticking out like that. So it looks like it's got the, the four or the little corner. Or the, the edge. The ridge. Ruffles have ridges. Does anybody remember that commercial? Ruffles have ridges. Boop, 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 boop. Ruffles potato chips. There we go. Nice little light box. And that light doesn't really get obstruct or obstructed at all. So, all right, all right. Clear out of here, guys. Clear out. Come on, come on. Actually, you know what? It'd be easier just to go like this. Let's get the small tiles. One, two. Just go one, two, three, like that. One, two, and three. Good. We want to go rotate, turn, no, no, turn one up. Move. We're gonna go one turn, and uh oh, that one's move. Turn that one again. There we go. And this one needs to be turn and rotate. Nope. Okay. So see how this like sticks into the the thing? That's not what we want. We want one two. I want it to go right there. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Glorious. Glorious days. All right, so now we can move that one. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, gotta turn this on first. Boop. And move. Grab. Slide that in there like that. Good. And B. Good. Now we have our second one. Yay. Wait, is that shadow being caused by the conveyor belt? Or is that how this is shining through the box? Okay. Because there's there's no there's none over here. It's caused by the conveyor itself. That's funny. Oh, it's moving too. Got a little sundial made out of the con conveyor belt above. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. I hope you guys are having a great day. Like I know, I know that I've been having fun working from home. Which, but by the time you're watching this, I'm probably I am working on a robot right now. I'm working on some kind of bot program. Having a lot of fun. <laughs> it's it's absolutely amazing. Uh, okay, hold on, zoom out, go to two, small tile. We're gonna go one, two, three, just like that. And now, one. Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to take one of these over. Turn it into some one by ones. 
By the way, does anybody own a coffee company out there? Y'all, y'all got uh, an uncle or a, a dad or, or a family member, maybe a mom that has a coffee company that uh, you'd want to get a sponsorship for me of some kind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just saying, just saying, you know, just just a question, just asking. If you want, you know. I think I've been looking for uh, some kind of coffee sponsorship for a while now. I'd be wild, wild. That, you know what? If uh, if it doesn't if it doesn't happen by the time I turn fifty, fifty years old, that'll give that'll give me ten years. If I'm not sponsored by the time I turn 50 by some kind of coffee corporation, I, Heath Haskins, will go and create my own coffee company. That's some big talk code. You sure it'll happen? No, I have no clue. I don't know if it would work or not. The Code Primate Coffee Company. Bringing home remedy for ADHD since 1993. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. When did I get diagnosed with ADHD? I have no clue. Um, let's see. It would it it had to have been in it was in eighth grade, so it was either ninth or tenth grade. I was in high school. So I think that's why my mom was so frustrated. Because she had been to seminars and she had had training on like the signs to look for and yet her son had ADHD and she didn't know about it. I think that's what made her the most upset. And I don't I don't blame her. Like not one bit. <sighs> Now, don't get me wrong. ADHD is not to be confused with a normal 10-year-old boy. All right? Uh, but if you have a child with ADHD, you will know it. You will definitely know if uh, it's ADHD or if it's uh, just being a kid. There's some, some people that are like, oh, he's, he's acting so ADHD right now. No, no. When you actually have ADHD, it doesn't matter the severity. You will know. It is... It is like a distraction. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Constantly inside your head, trying to keep focus in what people are saying, what people said, worrying that you may have forgotten something. Um, this simplistic bliss of knowing it's okay if you did forget something. That or if you did forget it, you don't really care that you forgot it. And that's a hard one to explain. Because people get frustrated when you forget things, right? But at the same time, you can't really blame us for it. It just happens. Hi, Joe. How are you? <clears throat> so... I don't want to sound like a jerk and be like, well, we just don't care. Because we do. We do care that it, it, we forgot. Alright? It's just we can't emotionally connect with the, the idea of, like, what happens when somebody forgets. Because, I mean, it's just, it's just us. Not like we did it on purpose. We, we didn't mean to. <sighs> Now, I'm not speaking out of anything, like, personal. Like, there's not been anything that's happened recently. It's just day-to-day -day life. I mean, even my boss says, uh, Oh, Haskins, did you reboot today? <laughs> yeah, probably. I, I probably rebooted. <laughs> and it's okay that I rebooted. Because I can always give myself a reminder, and I'll be okay. Let's go right about right about there we'll go one two three and four go 
good. Now, that is way off, isn't it? Okay. So, we'll move this down. Like that. Now, we should be able to put up some walls. <laughs> put up some walls? Code, isn't that what your channel's about? Is breaking down those walls? Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, breaking down the emotional barriers of uh, everyday life. Letting you know that it's it's okay to talk about, you know? Emotions are very, very much part of this channel and part of the stuff that we talk about. Along with ADHD, autism, Asperger's, and many other things that people call disabilities. But I refuse to accept it. It is our superpower. It is our mind flare. Mm. And it really is. What a lot of people see as a disability, I see as an opportunity. I see as the thing that makes us different. The thing that separates us from the normal. And it's not in a bad way. It's not like, oh, they're weird. No. It's, oh, they have something extremely special and extremely awesome. I should pay attention to this. And that's not to say if you don't have ADHD, you're not special or unique, you know? I'm saying that if you have ADHD or if you have some kind of uh, mental handicapped, it's not right that you're told you have to do this or this is the way things are. It's not true. I was told whenever I was in high school that video games are not a real thing. I need to stop thinking in the clouds and think about my future as a as a a real career of some kind needless to say i followed that advice you know and i did the things that they said to do i i went and i joined the military now i was in a special case where like i joined with a buddy and everything else but then my buddy, he dropped out a month and a half in, and boot camp's three months. I kept going. And I could, I could keep going. It was, it was okay. Um, I became a correctional officer. So that became my career. That's, that's what I am, that's what I do, that's, this is me. As opposed to the skater, hacker, break dancer back in high school. I listen, I listen to Insane Clown Posse. I listen to Metallica. I listen to Beck. These, the, the, and I had the long hair and the skater pants. And this is me, who I am. That changed. Went to the military. After the military, I came home and, and got married to my wife, Liz. Love you. Redhead. Beautiful. And we've been married for, what, 15 years? Like 15 years now. Two beautiful kids, and what did I do? Got to go to college, got to go get that degree. Of course, the only reason I went to college is to get that little piece of paper that says, hey, he knows something. And a lot of people go for bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, stuff like that. I went for an AA degree, Associates of Arts. No, no, an AA degree in computer programming, computer science, and then an AAS, in information technology services, I think, ITS, uh, computer information systems, CIS. So instead of getting a bachelor's degree, I have two AA degrees. One is associates of arts. The other one's uh, associates of applied science. So what did that do for me? Got me a good job where I am now a big nerd. <laughs> And I say that I say this with the utmost confidence. I am a nerd, okay? Deep down in my heart of hearts, it, it is not a curse word to me to call me a nerd, to call me a geek, to call me weird. I take that with a, a beautiful, beautiful background of everything that I do. Because if you know the history behind me and the the 
what I do now, it just goes hand in hand. So, what's funny is like the other guys that I work with, the other people that I work with inside IT, um, they're they're kind of nerdy. Like they they've got some some nerd to them, and they're pretty tech savvy. Like they are they are very tech savvy, but when it comes down to like nerd. I am the biggest nerd of all of them. I mean, I am I am dorky dorky. <laughs> so, as far as like the computer programming, technology, science, and stuff behind it, my brain just functions different, and I am absolutely okay with that. I completely forgot what I was doing over here. What were we doing? Okay, we got we got the light box on that one. Uh, we're gonna need a light box for this one. This is this is birch. What's the next wood that we're going to need? Wiki! Where you at, Wiki? Lumber Tycoon 2 Wikia. Lumber Tycoon 2 Wikia. Wikikikia. Wikikikia. Let's go to the trees. Okay. <clears throat> so we had oak wood, cherry wood, elm wood. Birch. Did we follow that order? Oak wood, cherry wood, elm wood, birch. Is this elm? As opposed to this? Hold up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's two different ones. Sweet. So this last one, this would be uh, birch wood. So what's next on the you guys totally didn't see that because I didn't switch it over. All right, so the next one they have is lava wood. Are we going? To, should we go in this order? If we're going in this order, this would be like the map layout of the trees and the, the bends. And we're, if we're going four boxes each, one, two, three, four, I could have it just lay out and look like this. So let's go. Let's go for the the lava wood next. I already have some lava wood down here. So let's do that. Um, right here. Let's go take this over. Oh my goodness, look at that. I've got tons of lava wood. Lava wood. <clears throat> lava wood. Chopping up in lumber. Lava wood. Ooh, I can log plank. Yay! Has anybody gone long planking in a long time? I feel like since we have so many glitches and stuff nowadays that nobody nobody really appreciates or understands the art of long planking. You know? It's just it's been so long. Hashtag down below long plank. If you want to see an episode of nothing but long planking, no glitches, no, no flights, just good old fashioned long plank adventure time. Long plank adventure time, adventure time. Oh, long plank adventure time. Somebody needs to make a song like that. Put it out. It'll, it'll be number one on the Lumber's most played music awards. Is my voice loud enough? Am I too loud? There's, these are questions that go off inside my head whenever I'm recording. And I, I never know the answer. Because Steven can't tell me. He's over there sleeping again. Steven! No, he's, he's passed out. I hear him sawing logs on the monitor. Just... And for those of you who are confused, Steven is my imaginary stagehand. He, he helps out with the cameras in the background. He makes sure that the buttons are where they're supposed to be. And when something's messed up, you better believe it was Steven. Like that intro that I had? It's probably Steven's fault. He did that. There we go. 
<sighs> so, um, I know that our progress isn't quite as fast as it is whenever we have like multiple people working on this, but I do, I do like how this is all turning out. It looks amazing. And I do I do want to have like a walkway up here and a walkway down there that way I can go on the front and the back of both of them and it'll be fine I was also thinking about putting in kind of like Jingle has he's got like a a Glass observatory so you can see on the inside of the base, but you can't come on the inside of the base That'd be kind of cool. Oh my goodness. It is 30 minutes past the hour On this Wednesday Okay, I'm gonna fill in the blueprints first. Whoa, maybe, or I could just mess this completely up. Your choice. By the way, does anybody here watch Sandersides? Is hashtag Sandersides down below if you watch it? Because I was asked by my daughter, said, could you mention Virgil? I think it's Virgil. Is it Virgil? Or, uh, who's the green guy? The alternate personality of, um, Roman. I don't remember. He's the green guy. Anyhow. I know there's a, there's a huge fan base behind him. And we used to watch him growing up. You know, all of his vines and stuff like that. He's the one that does the, the Disney Prince, um, things on Vine. No. Um, oh, I know. Story time. Or Disney time. You know? That's that's the guy. And then he does like a movie voice. These three men were doing fine until one of them realized that his fly was unzipped. And then they all look down and goes, that one was me. And then they are all, ha! That's, that's the kind of comedy he has. His... This vine. Hmm. I'm not too sure I like the way this looks. Is it possible that we could put some angles in here? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'll worry about detail later. Just like I did with the cleanup of my, my first base. You know, that took a while. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos, but it's really up to you if you want to or not. I, I, it, it, it's not that I don't care. It's just there's so many people out there in the internet who are like, subscribe, like, today! I don't want to pressure you like that. I'm doing these videos for fun. You're not forced to do anything. Uh, I know I get a, I get a lot of donations on the live streams and on on like membership fees and stuff like that, and that's I only open those up because you guys were asking for them, and I had a lot of people who were like, "How do I donate to you? How do I donate to you?" I'm like you don't have to donate. I promise, it's all free. I love you guys for it, and if you do donate, that's awesome. It's more than I could ever ask for. So have fun. Love you guys so much. Have a great night or day, and we'll talk to you very soon.